Well, how y'all doing? We having us a, I reckon we having us a coffee chat. Lord have mercy. It's Saturday afternoon. I was up late last night. Can anybody guess what broke down in my home? Of course, it couldn't happen at one o'clock in the afternoon when it's sunny and 70 degrees outside. Oh no, the washing machine had to crap out when it was dark, it was below freezing, it was spilling water all over the floor, getting stuff wet. Oh, oh me. Well, I immediately got on the, the, the washing machine was making such horrendous noises. And I can usually fix a washing machine or a dryer. I don't mind at all. But this thing was making so much racket, such noise and dumping water and all that. I decided, you know what? That might make a good washing machine for my workshop. <laughs> or maybe a renter house or something. But anyway, Lord have mercy. Well, like I say, it was nighttime, it was dark. Anyway, I decided I'd just go ahead and see what I could buy a new one for. Now, I used to be in a mobile home business, and I could buy a GE washer and dryer combo for about $400. But now, this was many years ago. This was, uh, oh, in the mid-90s. So this is, over, this is over 20 years ago that I could buy a washer and dryer for about $400 wholesale. So I, I, I get online to see what Lowe's has got and lo and behold they've got this uh, washing machine here uh, for $299 and I says to myself, I said, self, that's a pretty good price right there. They had it marked down for $399. It's an, it's an inexpensive roper made by Whirlpool. But hell, Whirlpool makes almost everybody. They make a mana. They make, uh, what else they make? Oh, I can't see from here. Anyway, they make a whole list of Gen Air. They make a whole list of brand names under their corporate uh, umbrella. But anyway, Roper is just a basic washing machine. It don't have all the all the whistle bells and whistles and all that. You select the size of the load, you select the temperature, and you tell it what kind of clothes you're washing. That's about it. What more you need? Lord, I don't need a reminder that tells me, hey, we're done. When it quits running, I know it's done. You know, that kind of thing. But anyhow, anyhow. Uh, so here it was, about 7 o'clock. And I'm online over on the computer, and I find it for two ninety nine. So, and it said that my local store had eleven of them. Well, I believe that online internet inventory about as far as I could throw this washing machine. So I called them to see did they have one in stock. And the lady answered the telephone, and she said, "May I help you?" And I said, "Yes, ma'am." I said, could you punch that fancy computer in front of you and tell me if you have an item in stock? She says, sure. What's that, what's that number? I said, you want the item number or the model number? She says, the item number. I said, all right. I give it to her. And she said, yes, sir. Says, we got 11 of them. Matter of fact, seven of them just came in on the truck today. I said, well, thank you, ma'am. I said, my name is so-and-so. And I would appreciate it if you would have one waiting for me at the commercial sales uh, checkout register. I said, I'll be coming and, and uh, I'll be picking it up back here at commercial sales. She says, okay. Well, I get in the truck and I drive over to Lowe's and there ain't no washing machine sitting there. And the guy at the register says, can I help you? I said, yeah, there's supposed to be a washing machine sitting here for me. 
Could you call back here in appliances and find out if they're on their way? So he gets on there and, and the woman he's talking to ain't got a clue what the heck I'm talking about. So I said, well, I'll talk to her. I said, yes, ma'am. She says, I don't know what's going on here. I just came back from lunch. I said, oh, no problem. I said, I called from home to make sure you got this washing machine in stock. The lady on the phone says, yes, you do. And I said, great. Uh, run me one back here at commercial sales counter and, or register and I'll pay for it. I've, I've got my truck out here ready to go. And she says, well, I know nothing about this. I said, all right, let me, let me try again. Hi, my name is so-and-so and I'm back here at commercial sales and I would like this washing machine. Would you mind bringing me one back here? Well, who did you talk to to begin with? I said, what difference does it make who I talk to to begin with? Well, I need to know who you talk to. Now, folks, I'm going to tell you all what. I try to be nice as I can be to when I'm dealing with, with people like this. But after a while, you know, it, it, it gets a little bit difficult. And I'm tired. It's already my bedtime because it's done past dark. It's Friday night, and there ain't nothing good to watch on TV. So I'm about ready to crash like I'm yawning right now. And um, I told the woman, I said, I tell you what, you just don't what damn well worry about it. I hung up the phone, and I walked up there to see the store manager. I know him. And I told him, I says, Tim. And he said, yeah. I said, Bubba, I got a problem with your girl back there in appliances. He said, what happened? And I told him. He said, I know what the problem is. He said, they're worried about whose who's, uh, commission it is before they do anything. I said, by God, don't worry about who's co who gets the commission after I get my damn washing machine. He said, I'll take care of it. So he heads off back to the appliances. Meanwhile, while I was walking to go see the manager, I guess somebody in appliances figured out I was pissed off and they brought one to, to uh, where I could check out and buy it and go on. So that's what I did. Of course, I called the manager and told him, that's all right, I got it back here. Well, boy helps me load it on the truck and here I come. And my, my wife, bless her heart, I told her, I said, just try to clear a path so we can get this out of here. And she did. And I don't care how clean you are, but underneath your washing machine, your dryer, underneath your refrigerator, your stove, any appliances that don't move for, you know, years, you, you do get dust to build up under there and then maybe a little moisture combined with the dust and anyway it's nastiness underneath appliances that have not moved in a long time so my wife bless her heart she got all cleaned up and uh, she was ready to go to sleep I said fine I said I'll put this in tomorrow while well, you're going to see the grandkids it's, and it's 20 something degrees out there this morning. Boy, howdy. Anyway, that was $300 I didn't expect to spend. What's that? Like they say on Hee Haw, gloom, despair, agony on me. Anyway, that's how my Friday night went. How'd your Friday night go? And then, of course, I was over here trying to clean up and I found that rust stain on the floor. And I have found the best way to find out how to get something clean is to ask my YouTube viewers. You guys are great. You subscribers are wonderful helping old Paw Paw out. Because we all have our own life experiences and we all know different tricks that work. And Doug and Stacy off their homestead, Stacy actually put out a video, a whole bunch of cleaning ideas and using different things. But Stacy. Where in the world do you buy cream of tartar? 
I buy cream of tartar, a little old bitty jar, a little tiny jar, back here amongst the uh, amongst the uh, spices. Lord, that stuff's expensive. You got a big old jar of it. Let me know where you get that cream of tartar at a more reasonable price. I can't afford to use it for a cleaning agent. Of course, I would if nothing else worked. Well, she recommended a uh, cream of tartar and uh, spritz some um, hydrogen peroxide on it. And another uh, another thing several people have mentioned is that bar uh, bartender's helper. I was looking at that. That looks pretty good. And of course, several people said CLR. Well, I'm gonna find out what I'm gonna I'm gonna try some. Oh, and lady said use that uh, LA Awesomes stuff. Well, I've got that, but I don't think uh, it, it it won't touch it. I tried mopping with it over there. I tried putting it directly on our full strength and. Nah, <laughs> floor just laughing at it. But uh, let me try that CLR. So anyway, uh, uh, having this coffee chat here, letting y'all know how things are going by my neck of the woods. Uh, I had a, a, a few things that struck my mind. Maybe y'all can help me. Why is it I can tell a woman, "Hey, baby, you look cool." But if I tell her, you don't look too hot, she gets all pissed off. Don't make no sense. And uh, I don't know if, if uh, George Carlin said this or not, but this is something I used to talk with to my children when we'd be going down the road about how you never go there. You know, where are you going? Well, I'm going over there. But when you get there, it's not there no more, it's here. So you think about that. You can never go there. Because if you ever get there, it's not there no more, it's here. You know? If if I'm standing here next to you, and I say, I'm going to walk right over there. Wait here. And I walk over there. And then you holler at me and say, where are you? I don't say I'm over there. I say, I'm here. Even if I'm 100 feet away, I'm here. Right here. I'm not there. I'm here. Well, I thought it was, I was kind of, you know, funny to think about. Oh, the uh, winner on the drawing for 9,000 uh, subscribers is... Corey Lane 1. C O R E Y L A N E 1. I'm not going to mention it again throughout the whole video. If he wasn't paying attention, he's going to have to watch the whole thing to the end. <laughs> but I've got a good feeling he's he paying attention. He's been a subscriber of mine for a long time. Congratulations. Anyway, uh, uh, yeah, things sometimes get aggravating. I was over here in this corner cleaning up, and, and uh, uh, you know, it's cold weather. I can't be outside doing much of nothing, so I'm going to try to get more organized in here because I have no one to blame but myself. I've not been mailing out, I've not been mailing out t-shirts. I've not been mailing out my decals like I'm supposed to. My table's all cluttered up, so I was trying to get things cleaned up, and it just seemed like, it's just one thing after another. So I apologize to everybody that I owe shirts and, and decals to. If you've paid me money and uh, you want me to, I'll just refund your money. Uh, uh, or just be patient. Hopefully I can get them out uh, tomorrow. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm ashamed that I ain't sent them out quicker, but that's just the way it is. Well, oh boy, Josh. Now, there's several of you that sent me money uh, via PayPal and I have no mailing address to send it to you. So those of you that are watching that I owe decals or t-shirts to or let's say uh, Rodney I think I've got your address for the soap and the t-shirt but any of y'all that have sent me money by way of PayPal would you, especially those of you that did that and any of you that have won stuff 
will you please just drop me an email uh, today or as soon as you see this and remind me of who you are and what it was you ordered and all that kind of stuff. Now those, a couple of you that sent a check, I haven't can I have not cashed the checks. They're still sitting there in the envelope. I know what you ordered. But uh, any of you that's paid me, any of you that's won something, please you know, send me an email. Say, hey Bob, you forgot me, buddy. And I'll be damn sure I take care of you. Okay? Uh, that's about all I got to ramble on about. It's a uh, Super Bowl tomorrow. I always enjoy falling asleep in front of that. I don't get real excited about a whole bunch of millionaires running around running into each other. When they, when they play college, man, they play ball. But once they make pro, psh, oh, I don't want to get hurt. Oh, let me look. Oh, oh, don't hit me. Don't hit me. I'm going to run out of bounds. I know I can get five more yards, but I'm going to run out of bounds right here so I don't get hit. All right. Well, reckon I need to go in there and cook for the dogs again. I still ain't been to the farm to get dog food. <laughs> I've got canned chicken. I've got beef stew. I've got chili. I've just about used up all my flour and cornmeal, and uh, and pancake batter. I don't know what I'm gonna dream up today. It'll be something. I know they'll eat it because dang gun dogs. Like that one old boy said, I got a boxer. If I put gravy on gravel, she'd eat it. <laughs> Folks, y'all have a wonderful day and a better tomorrow. Bye. Okay, here's the boring part that nobody likes to sit through and hell, I don't blame you. That's why this is at the end of the video. You can go ahead and leave if you want to. I already announced who won. But this is just to show the actual drawing itself. Uh, it says I got 240 comments. And like I said, I'm gonna count every one of them. And if it lands on my name, I'm just gonna go down to the very next comment, okay? So I'm just gonna continue my count. Instead of, somebody said, instead of start all over, if it hits your name, just go to the next one. So that's what I'll do. So if I'm, if I'm counting from the top down, I hit my name, I'll go on down one. If I'm going up, I hit my name, I'll go up one. That's only if my name ends up on the, on the number. Okay, so it says there's 240 comments. Then we'll pull them up here. All right. And what the hell? Hell for review, 240. Wait a minute. Do we have more to go? No. Okay. <laughs> God. Okay, 240 comments. I'm going to go up here to my random number generator. I put in 240. I hit generate, and the number I get is 65. So let me just start counting down 65. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. That was Arlene was 27. Show more. Come on. What's the matter? Oh. <clears throat> Oh.
Why isn't it showing them? Huh. Well, crap. I don't know what's going wrong here. I'll, uh, I'm going to have to try to reload it. Okay. I don't know why it's, why it's not loading my comments. Shit. Alright, I finally got it to pull them up. <clears throat> I clicked between newest first to top comments and back to newest first where it was where I keep it set all the time. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six. 27 with our lane. That was 27. 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50 with Philip Young. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57 with Ron Graham, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65 landed on me. Go down one more. Corey Lane 1. Corey Lane 1. You are the winner, and you need to get a hold of me by way of my uh, uh, email called Bob for signs at yahoo.com so Corey Lane one congratulations zoom in there and see if we can see your name Corey Lane one right there ah that's the winner 